Hello, I'm Michelle Smith and welcome to my channel. I have a Dollar Tree haul for you today. Our first item is this Sure Fresh container. It has two containers. I bought it for a craft item that I'm going to be using because it has straight sides up and down and that's what I needed. And two come in a pack for a dollar. With the holidays coming, I thought it would be a good time to start uh, stocking up on my LED lights. So I picked up a couple packages of the little tea lights. I got two of those. And then I bought one package of these to try. I thought they were interesting and I can use them in some centerpieces that I'm going to be doing for probably Thanksgiving or Christmas. Now, I don't normally buy a lot of food items from the Dollar Tree, but this um, Pantry Essentials pizza sauce I've purchased in the past and we were really surprised it's very good. So um, if you like to make homemade pizza at home and you buy canned sauce, this is a great one for only a dollar. Normally in the grocery store, the one that I buy is half this size and it's about $3.50. So this is a really good deal. Another odd item that I picked up is a metal scraper. If you were watching one of my uh, previous DIYs, uh, I broke my scraper, so I needed to get a new one. So this time I got a metal one so it won't break on me. And then in the pet section, I picked up two of these ropes. I was surprised. They're quite long and they have th uh, four knots in them. Normally they only have three and I did purchase two of them. I tie these together and hang them in my bird's cage and he chews them apart. He much prefers to chew on rope than he does on wood. So uh, this is great. If you ever shop for an exotic bird, bird toys are very expensive. You can pay anywhere from $25 to $100 for a bird toy. Something that your bird is literally going to chew apart. <laughs> so when I can find things at the Dollar Tree that I can use for toys that he really enjoys, that's the way to go. So I did pick up some more Halloween items. I picked up two of these skulls. I like them, they're quite big, and of course very creepy. You know, I love that creep factor. So I picked up two. I need them for a wreath that I will be doing probably next week. I also picked up two packages of this creepy Halloween ribbon. It has a skeleton on it, and it has spider webs, black and white, very cool. I also picked up four packages of black mesh. I wasn't sure that I had enough, so I wanted to pick up some more to make sure I had enough for the up and coming wreath. Now this is the first time I've seen this in the store. I haven't seen anybody else haul them. They only had one. I thought it was really cute. It's this little ghost. He says boo and he does light up. Kind of an odd color that he's green, but he's so cute I didn't care. I had to get him anyway. I also picked up a bag of these spider rings. These are really cool. They have little gems in them. Some are orange and some are purple. These are also going to be used on the up and coming wreath that I'll be making. I picked up one of these. She's motion activated. So whenever somebody walks by and she's turned on, she does her creepy little laugh. I thought that would be really cute for Halloween. She can laugh at all the little kids when they walk up. To trick or treat. I did pick up one fall item and uh, just another package of these little orange pumpkins. I used the last that I had on a project so I wanted to pick up some more. And I did pick up a few florals. I got two picks of these. They're black, silvery, and kind of creepy looking. I'm thinking I might be using these in the wreath as well so I picked a couple up. I also picked up some Christmas florals. This time they had some of the white berries. So I got two stems of those. And then I also picked up a bunch of these cotton picks. They're not the full cotton stems, 
but they have uh, like this one has some cotton it's got some wheat and it's got some little uh, pine cones on it they had several different ones to choose from and this one has some cattails in there that are dark brown another cotton and some more pine cones This one has the different color cattails. Then they also had some that had some kind of long grass. So this one has a little bit of yellow grass. And then brown. So I thought these would be good to use for a Christmas wreath or a table decor. Another Christmas item that I picked up is this package of foam sheets. They're cut as little angels and you get 12. It's just basically a blank slate for you to do whatever you want. I have a couple different ideas on how to use them. I don't know if it's going to work out or not, but I'm going to give it a try. They had some really pretty Christmas tree ornaments. They had these red cardinals. These are great for wreath making. They also had some doves. Again, another good item for wreath making. I did pick up some Christmas ribbon. I got this nice, wide, bright red ribbon. It's very glittery. It's very pretty. You get nine feet, and it's uh, two and a half inches wide. And then I also got this burlap ribbon, nine feet and two inches wide. thought that was really pretty again for some Christmas wreaths. Now I always check out the Christmas tree ornaments whenever they start getting them in and this year they got some really cute ones so I had to pick up a couple. I really like the little snowman. Isn't he cute? Oh I think he's just so adorable. I also have this one. I think these are very well made. They look nice. They're super cute. I did also pick up a couple packages of the lights that they have. These are really nice to use in centerpieces or on wreaths. You can use them in other decor as well. They're battery operated. You get 10 lights per pack. These are little stars. I got two packages of those. And then these are uh, LED light string. You can't really see the lights. It's like the string itself lights up. And this is supposed to be in clear, and I purchased two of those as well. Things like this I start purchasing now, even though I'm not going to be using them until I get closer to Christmas. It's just that the Dollar Tree, when they have certain items, if they're hot that year or a lot of people are using them in crafts, they disappear really fast, and they don't always get them restocked. So if you use items like those in your crafts, you need to start picking them up now. Otherwise, later when you need them, they may not be there. Okay, now I have to say, when I went into the beauty section, I was really surprised. I found some really awesome items. The first item I want to share with you is this electronic nail kit. Yes, an electronic nail kit for a dollar. I could not believe it. You get three different tips and it runs off of batteries. I'm really excited to try this out. Once I try it out, I will definitely give you a review on it and let you know if it's worth the dollar or not. Another item that I was super shocked to find is this facial cleansing brush. It's also battery operated. I've seen these in other stores for $20. So this is a great deal. Again, I will check it out, try it out, and let you know if it's worth purchasing or not. I picked up another package of the Ion Wispy eyelashes. I haven't tried the first pair that I bought, but I bought another pair. These are, are a little bit longer. They have more lashes in them, so I figured I'll try both kinds and see what I think. For a dollar, it's worth taking the chance. And I also found this really nice makeup brush. It has a comb and a brush on it and has a, a cute little zebra pattern on it. 
I needed one of these, so I was really happy to see that they had them. Now this is another new item that I found in the beauty department, and I'm going to try them and I'll let you know how well they work. I'm not sure how well this is going to go, but they are soak off nail caps. You get five in a package, so I bought two packages. So we'll see how well they work. You're supposed to be able to uh, gently remove gel, glitter, and artificial nails with these. Another item that I found, and I picked up a couple of them, are some nail art. Now I've seen a couple other types of stencil art, but this is the first time I've seen these in my store. I thought they were really pretty, so I thought I'd check them out. So they all have different colors and patterns. Always looking for something fun to do with my nails. And another nice find that I found when I walked in was they had restocked all of the fun and easy to apply nails. So I picked up some more. They have some really pretty patterns. This is nice and bright pink. Thought this was absolutely gorgeous. I got two of these. Very pretty, lots of blues. And then I picked up two packages of the French tip. Now I've been using these for a couple months now and they work pretty well. I mean, for a dollar, you can't expect a whole lot, but I can't really afford to go and get my nails done. So this is a nice option for me. Um, I do always have glue in my purse in case something happens. But for the most part, they usually last me about five to seven days. Unless I'm doing any kind of heavy cleaning, then it can be one to three days. I also picked up a pack of the Kiss Plain Nails. These are good if you break one, uh, you can replace it with a plain one and then just go ahead and paint the rest of your nails and then they all match. So this one is kind of my fill-in when I have an emergency. Now, if you do use the uh, fake nails from the Dollar Tree, the best way to remove them is to soak them off with 100% acetone. If you try, if they start to lift and you get in and you try to pull them off and you pull them off, what happens is you can literally rip off the top layers of your nails. You do not want to do that. The soaking of the nails works really well. It doesn't take very long. All I do is I take a small mason jar that has a lid, I pour some in, and then I soak each nail. I use a cotton swab and wipe it off until it is completely gone, and then I go on to the next nail. I save the acetone in the jar and I use it a couple times until it gets real nasty, and then I dump it out and I put more in. Best way to do it, easy, causes no damage to your nails. So I picked up two bottles of 100% acetone. Let's move into some craft supplies. Another great find that I have never seen at the Dollar Tree is they finally got some canvas boards of an exceptional size. These are 11 by 14 inch. That is a great size. Now these are canvas boards, meaning it is like a hard cardboard that has stretched canvas over it. These are great for just doing standard painting with acrylics or oils you can use. These do not work well at all for acrylic pouring. I have used the smaller ones and they warp really bad, which completely messes up your pour. So I do not suggest these for acrylic pouring, but if you're someone who is interested in getting into painting, this is a great buy. For a dollar, you can buy several canvases of good size and practice. You know, it makes it great. You can go out and try something for just a few dollars. So I picked up two of those. And I picked up another of the 8x10 canvases. This is an actual canvas. They're starting to carry this size again. The first time that my store started to get canvases in, they did have the 8x10, but they did not last long. 
They completely disappeared. I tried ordering more online. They didn't have any online. All they had was the boards. So they are getting the 8x10 actual canvases back in. So if you use these, make sure you get out there and stock up. Another new item that I found in their craft section are these wood cutouts. You get 10 pieces. They're shaped like little flowers. They also have this package. 10 pieces as well, and little butterflies. I love little craft wood cutouts. There's so many things that you can do with them. You can make garlands, you can make ornaments, you can uh, decorate other signs, you can decorate packages. There's just so much you can do with these. Another new item in the craft section that I found are these very large craft sticks. You get five. They're for the large glue guns, and they're, they're pretty long in size and thick. So I thought that was a good deal for a buck. Another new item that I was happy to see in the craft section are these little finger protectors. Now, I don't know about you, but I always tend to burn myself with the glue gun. These are made of silicone. So not only will they help protect your fingers, but the silicone makes it really easy to remove any glue that does get stuck on there. So this was a great find for a buck. I did find another package of the chalkboard tags. These you get four in, and they're shaped like little hearts. They have that nice little detail around them. It looks like stitching. Another new product that I found in the crafting section are pop dot adhesives. You get two sheets. There's a total of 264, but there are these little dots that help you adhere things. It'd be great if you do a lot of paper crafts and things like that. Another item that I found in the craft section that really I was happy to see is the Dollar Tree has come out again with their wooden letters and numbers. So for the numbers, you get 20 in a pack. And for the wood letters, you get 26 in a pack. Now the reason why I'm so excited is that previously when they sold the wood letters and numbers, they weren't necessarily cut out very well. They were really thin. They tended to split. These look like they're much better quality. They look like they've been laser cut. They look a little thicker. The font is better. I really like these. I picked up about six bags of the letters and just about two bags of the numbers. In the stationery section, I did find a few new items. I found some new deco tape. I just picked up a couple. I like this pattern. It's very neutral. I thought it would be good for Halloween because it's kind of black and white. I thought this was really pretty. Silver and gold stars on a black background. I picked up two, uh, one of each of those. The Dollar Tree is starting to get in some more stickers. These were new. I have not seen them in my store. There's some butterflies. Some hummingbirds. And these are like two-layer butterflies. I thought they were very pretty. They're kind of rustic looking. So you get 12 of the small butterflies, 10 of the large butterflies, and 9 of the hummingbirds. These are new stickers. The first time I've seen them in my store. They are metallic. I thought they were very pretty and unique. Something different. Very pretty, nice colors. For this one, you get nine. This one, you get 15. This one, you get 13. But these are really pretty. They'd be great for planners, if you make cards. And this one, you get 13. Another new thing that I found in this sticker section is this gold alphabet. 
thought this would be really nice to use for a craft for probably Christmas. They only had one that I could find, so that's all I picked up, but I will be looking for more of these. Well, I hope you enjoyed that haul. We covered quite a lot of things. The Dollar Tree still gets in new stuff every week. I love it. Every time I go, there's always something wonderful to find. If you enjoyed this haul, please give me a big thumbs up. It really does help out my channel. Thank you so much for visiting. If you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel, and we will see you next time. Have a great day, everyone. Bye-bye.